it is sad when a good book or uh, a series that you love comes to an end because you just want what's going to happen now? Well, as in the recent Hobbit movie, The Battle of the Five Armies. But here is the great thing. 13 years ago, they filmed What Happens Next. Yes, The Lord of the Rings. So when I saw The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, I rushed home and I popped in my DVD to watch The Fellowship of the Rings. I mean, our family, we love The Hobbit. We love The Lord of the Rings. We were there the opening day for all of these movies. We read the books to our boys. I just love them. Okay, but let's just face it. The footwear of Middle Earth sucks. You've got hobbits with hairy feet. You have orcs with ugly feet. You have dwarfs with, they must have huge feet because their boots are ginormous. And then you have the elves. Well, you have Galadriel. She walks around barefoot. Then the elves have their boots. So what is a girl to do if she loves shoes? Thank goodness that Fran Walsh and Peter Jackson, they wrote in for The Hobbit, they wrote in a female character because for some reason Tolkien, uh, I guess he had a thing against women, didn't write too many wonderful women characters in these series. So they wrote in Tariel and she's kind of like a female, like Robin Hood, she's all green and she's sexy and she fights them all. Um, um, so... That's about it. And I have to say that the the Battle of the Five Armies, it was a little silly at times because I just, how can a little hobbit kill an orc with a rock? Like, it, I, and I hate to say this because I do love the hobbits, and but I am going to give it a two and a heel. Oops. <laughs> But for you, oh my goodness, I would love to be a Markwood elf. And this is what I might run around in with my, yeah, with my bow and arrow. Yes, <laughs> I could do it. Don't kid yourself. I would beat some orkin ass with these wonderful elf boots. They're pretty sturdy. And with my bow, yeah. Here I come. I will see you at the movies.